I didn't say anything, YouTube. Don't don't ban me. I'm not alluding to f fraud. I'm not. I said I'm not. YouTube, don't do it, please. I'm very nice. What did Candace Owens saying that to Blair White in that moment do for anybody? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, remember to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. Welcome. I'm Jamie, sweet Jamie Lee. I'm a conservative makeup YouTuber. Uh, I will be talking politics at the end of the video, so if you want to see how I did this makeup look, then keep watching. It's just like a page, no fake lashes. Not today, I didn't feel like it, and I was inspired by someone's comment on my one video, and I was like, alright, well, let's do a no-lash look, because apparently it bothered that person. And just, it was a good point, I don't think lashes are always needed, like a look like this, but sometimes it really is, like if you're gonna go like full on like 15 different colors, you need lashes, you need them, or else it looks freaking weird, so just, just, just listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. So if you guys want to see how I did this and you want to hear some political rants about a video that I just saw and I just wanted to touch on a few things. Uh, it was a video by Slightly Offensive. I don't know if any of you guys out there follow him but I do. It's very interesting but he had a panel of four people talking about some issues and I just wanted to voice my opinion on what I saw. So I'll link I'll link the, his video in the description down below also if you, case, you, know, you want to watch it. And so you have any clue of what I'm talking about. And I hope you guys enjoy this makeup look. Thank you. 
Goomba. Really? We're gonna do this now? What do you guys think? Do you like this look? It's just very peachy, neutral, neutral. It's, it's kind of like, I'm getting vibes of like fall from this. So I hope you guys don't mind that. Um, I just did a little bit of glitter. I did no fake lashes. Um, I was inspired because someone left a comment on one of my videos about how like, you know, over exaggerated lashes takes away like your ability to see natural beauty in someone's eyes. And I agree, because I, I say that all the time, like, you don't have to wear fake lashes. They are fake. They're not real. And anybody that thinks that they're real is stupid. So these are my natural lashes. I wouldn't wear, um, I think regular lashes like this is fine with a look like this. It's just like monotone, you know what I mean? It's just like one color with some, you know, glitter. And I think that's fine, but if you're gonna go ham and go with like 15 different colors and like vibrant, you need lashes. It just, it ties the whole thing in. It's kind of like, you know how like a good crown molding or a good like nice molding on something, it just finishes it. Whereas sometimes if you have like a crazy wall and paint and then you don't finish it with a nice, you know, molding, it just looks unfinished. Do you guys know what I mean? I hope you do. Um, so I hope you guys like that. I'm getting like fall vibes from this whole look. I was going just for like neutral and peachy, but somehow probably with the nails, it just kind of turned fall is whatever. Um, so what I wanted to touch on is I just watched, I'm going to link it in the description below. It was an interview with, um, Slightly Offensive is the name of his channel. I don't know if you guys follow him, but I recommend it if you're... Obviously, if you're more conservative or moderate, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so he was having an interview, like a panel of four. I just want to get their names. Like, there was Carlin Borisenko. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing her name. Um, Blair White, which I love. I follow her all the time. Uh, Lauren Witzke, whatever. She's the one I didn't really like. And John Doyle. And they were all discussing, they were on to discuss, like, where is the future of the Republican Party? Which direction do you guys see it going? Pros and cons of, like, each direction. And it was a very interesting interview, and I highly recommend it. So, the one, the one on the, I'm trying to remember, there was two and two. So, on the top right-hand corner of the screen, her name was Lauren, and she's, like, you know, conservative, Republican, I'm a, well, I'm assuming. I should just double check that. And um, very traditional and all that kind of stuff. She's the one I disagreed with the most, which I know a lot of people would assume, like, how could you if you're, like, conservative? Well, I'm conservative, but I'm still, I, I see myself as being, like, libertarian conservative. I know that doesn't make any sense, but I'm, like, in the middle of a lot of things. And so immediately the Republican conservative, like Blair White is Republican, and then the dude that was on there was very Republican, and then the other girl was a Democrat or liberal, but she voted Republican. You, watch the video, you guys will get it. And the ones that were making the most amount of sense was like Blair White and the girl up above her. Um, this conservative Republican girl was so, like, offensive to me. Not offensive, because, like, whatever. She's 
has her opinions and that's fine but it was so she was on the attack and she started right out like attacking Blair White and I this is where I skew from like Republican conservative ideology or whatever it's this I I won't like compromise my morals or ethics which is fine you shouldn't but they won't budge that kind of thing and she was she made this comment about like well if you want to help Blair why don't you like grow out your mustache and oh so before if this doesn't make any sense Blair White is a trans um woman right she used to be a guy now she's a girl really interesting very smart she's you know more on the right it's just very interesting to listen to and beautiful and all that so like she's like if you want to help Blair why don't you like grow out your mustache and like it turned into this like cat fight even though Blair was like the one with the most amount of sense and just like just kind of looking at her like what like why why are you attacking why did that just happen if you both are on the same you both have the potential to have the same vote and like grow the party why are you fighting within each other and it was this woman like she doesn't see uh i hope i'm representing it right but as far as i could see her view is that she doesn't think that the republican party should you know pander to certain things like the lgbtq trans people like yeah they can vote but they shouldn't have a platform to speak and then she kept attacking Blair like I don't think you should have a platform and little kids like watching you you should be ashamed like all this this weird kind of stuff and this is just where I don't agree how do you expect to get more votes if what you want in four years is for a Republican to win the White House again how are you ever gonna do that by attacking people even on your own side all you're doing is coming off is like intolerant and like really really mean and catty and it's obvious to me that the Republican Party like something happened in 2016 when Donald Trump was elected the whole world saw this like obviously political like politics in this country are shifting there's a shift there's a shift on the left and there's a shift on the right and obviously the shift on the right was like I don't want any more like Mitt Romney's and you know who's that other guy John McCain who like they don't want that anymore they wanted chaos they wanted somebody to just come in and just mess everything up that's what we got with Donald Trump which is why he was insanely popular and it's the Republicans within the party that still have this thing out for Donald Trump you're gonna ruin it for anybody that hopes to have a Republican in the White House ever again like voting problems and all of that aside I didn't say anything YouTube don't don't ban me I'm not alluding to f fraud I'm not I said I'm not YouTube don't do it please I'm very nice so how are you going to win and Blair was making this this point like you can't you can't just like attack the very people that are on your side like just because Blair is a trans woman she's not insane and she actually advocates for so many great things and she's she's championing championing <laughs> that word for like she's kind of against um kids you know going on puberty blockers and all this stuff and like she's her own person she can make her own decisions she made her own decision and let it be like and two this woman who's all like nope we need to like stay away from like the the pedophiles and the predators like meaning trans and stuff like that and I understand that point to a certain extent yes when you're having like trans or was the one where like men dress as women that thing no 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 like the something story time what is that what the hell is that uh you're a like cross dresser thing you know like the story time and they're having kids watch them and they're like all made up in this crazy stuff I disagree with that I don't think you should be subjecting kids to that but she was attacking Blair and Blair doesn't do that like she transitioned she told her story she's against kids being on puberty blockers and all this stuff 
why are you attacking somebody like that? She's actually like, her, you can tell her interest is in protecting children. Leave it alone, like let it alone, stop. You're gonna lose people. And this is where I've always, you know, like skewed from the traditional conservative Republican side. This is where I'm just like, you guys don't get it. And like, you're like a devout like Christian and she's all like, oh, we need to like get back to God, which fine, like I believe in God too. But you are attacking Blair White, saying, like, what a, you know, terrible person that shouldn't have a platform, and saying, like, all these rude things, but you, like, you are on the side of, like, God, like, what about, like, all the priests that were, like, molesting little boys? Do we remember this? And yes, you could say, well, it wasn't everybody. There's a frick ton of cases. So, like... You know, how people in glass houses, you know, shouldn't throw stones. So, what are you talking about? Like, you don't have, you're not on the side of, like, having the moral high ground exactly. Like, you're claiming to be like, no, we need to get back to, like, you know, church and all this stuff. And, like, Blair bad. But an argument could be made for, like, your side having a lot of issues too, do you know what I mean? And I don't think that's right, like, thou shalt not judge. When did that stop being a thing? Like, with conservatives, I thought that that was the point. Like, you're gonna lose people, that's all I wanted to say. Like, if I could have, like, an open letter to, like, Republicans and people, like, running, you saw what happened in 2016. The people spoke, we wanted to change, and at least the people on the right, we wanted to change. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Frick. Bless me. Ugh. Why do I always have to sneeze when I'm doing makeup? It's freaking annoying. I'm telling you, I'm allergic to makeup. Like the world. Just be like, Jamie, stop with the makeup. You stop with the makeup. So, I thought the talk was interesting and it was something I think more people need to listen to because if you have any hope for the next four years or even eight whatever that may be you have to listen you have to be able to see what happened and the best thing to do is look four years ago what happened the revolution of Donald Trump happened nobody thought it I did I saw I saw it coming a long time and people thought I was nuts too I'm like, no, I'm telling you, people will go for this because he's going to shake up things, and he did. And that's why he won. And um, probably won a second time. But whatever. I didn't say that. So where is the Republican Party going? Is it going more towards, like, we want just completely, you know, church going and being... And I'm all for the pro-life. I am pro-life. I didn't always used to be. I was more on the side of, like, pro-choice, but with certain exceptions. Um, But now, I don't think I can have a good argument for being pro-choice at all. So I'm more pro-life, but I do think the two sides can come to the middle on things, but they're just they're both too stubborn so whatever that's a discussion for another day um so Blair White was making the point of the future of the Republican Party from her perspective and I happen to agree with this is like the era of Trump it's Trumpism if that's a word now and there's I think it's a really really good thing what he stood for and he actually did the things that he said he was going to do most of them I have a I have a few things that I wish happened that didn't that I'm a little irritated by ha having to do with big tech hmm do you guys know what I'm talking about so but you're gonna need somebody in the next four years if it isn't Trump running If it's not, you need somebody that isn't just going to be okay with the status quo. Nothing gets done. It's the same shit just every single year. It's the same thing just all the time. Like, don't we deserve better? And I think people are finally, um, like, waking up to this. We're seeing what's going on. And I think that's really, really good. So, from my perspective, the reason people are hesitant about, you know, quote-unquote right-wingers, you know, and they see them as, like, extreme... 
I do believe, and this is just coming from my observation, even being this person that's like a little hesitant with, with both sides, is the right side, like this Lauren, right? Is Lauren her name? Yes. The way she was being was the exact person that I hate. She was like the bully in high school, the way she was sitting there, she just like had kind of a crazy look in her face, like whatever. It just, it rubbed me the wrong way. Like, why did you just come out of the gate swinging for like Blair White mostly? And then the other girl, I need to look up some facts with the other girl. If you guys watch the interview, you know what I mean about her husband and him being illegal. I need to look that up before I can have an opinion because I want to know my facts first. Um, it's just, the right wing, like the the standard, you know, Republicans or even like rhinos, you know, Republican in name only, they're losing people. And I think for this Lauren person to deny that and say, no, we have to get even more stringent and like reject the LGBTQ movement. I'm fine if you're not okay with the whole, the radicalized side of it, but you have to understand that there are a lot of let's see, gay or trans people that are Republican. You're, she seems to be forgetting that. So instead of pushing them further away, you can have them come to your side and have people like Blair talk to more people. And from their perspective, you'd probably gain a lot of people. But instead, she's so close-minded that it, it blew my mind. I was watching. I'm like, why is she being so mean? And she was the one I was assuming I would have the most in common with before I watched it. I was wrong. I did not. And I didn't appreciate the way she was talking to Blair. And I've seen this again one time when Blair White was being interviewed with uh, Candace Owens. And the way Candace Owens came out immediately in this interview with, um, I'll forget it. I forgot his name, but you know, he's on the blaze. <sighs> I'll even put his name like right here, here, here when I think of it. And she started off the interview by saying, I just want to put it, like, on the record. This isn't, like, verbatim, but, you know, I'm sitting across from a man. And, like, all right. Technically, yes. But Blair White, if you knew anything about her, is the first person to say, I was born a man and I will die a man. I'm not a woman, but she's trans. So, like, you can't just... You can't say stuff like that. Like, Candace Owens, because of that, I liked her up until that interview. As soon as I saw it, it changed. It just flipped. I'm like, you can't, you can't talk to people like that. There's no reason for that. What did Candace Owens saying that to Blair White in that moment do for anybody? What, did you just, like, feel good to say it? Like, I understand your point here, but that is not the way to do it. You're not, you're not going to win over people by talking like that. Like, let's come to the middle. Let's talk about things that we have in common or what we can work on. And that is a problem. Both sides are being extremely stubborn and it drives me insane. Like, when you're watching it, like, all right, listen. Like, I know that each side, you know, you're on the side of thinking I'm right. Right? Like, you wouldn't be on that side if you didn't think you were right. But <sighs> compromise, people. Because the only people suffering because you guys can't get along is the American people. We're just, like, sitting around, like, hoping that the elected officials and everyone's, like, going to be doing stuff for us. But they're not. Because it's all the same, it's the same shit, different day. That's why people like Trump. So I see the future of the Republican Party is Trump. You need people like that. It obviously had a momentum and it's still going. So we need to stick with that. So... I hope you guys enjoyed that little rant. What do you guys feel? Did you see the interview? What do you think? Um, how, what do you see, you know, what is the future of the Republican Party? What direction do you think they should go? And what direction do you think they will go? Um, do you think they'll come more to the middle? Or do you think both sides now are going to their extreme corners? Which I really, really hope not, because I don't think that's in the best interest of the American people. Um... I just, I, I don't like, I don't like nasty comments. I don't like mean people. And it's always just been, it's always been a thing with me. Like you can disagree with somebody, but you don't, you don't just 
start talking like that. Like we can all see through it and you're not you you're not gonna win like that. So good luck. <laughs> um so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh let me know what other kind of makeup looks you wanna see. I really like this look. It's something I would like go out, you know, go shopping, date, date night or something. Super fun. I like the slip color. This, um, in case I didn't say it, where is it? Oh, so I did Ciate London Glitter Flip in the shade Undressed, and then I put a little bit of Sephora color over this. Uh, it's in the color Metal. It's really pretty. So these two colors, you see? Pretty, right? Super pretty. Yep, I like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like down below and follow me. I'm on Instagram and Facebook because that's all because I dropped Twitter because I don't want any more of Twitter. Twitter is bad and they're banning people and I don't like it. So stop and no more. Bye. <laughs> um, so thank you guys very much and remember to be kind. Be kind. Put some color in your world. Yes. And stay humble. Bye guys. red my cheeks are. <laughs> Do you guys like my nails? I like this vibe. I hope you do. <laughs> Let's start again. Maybe Goomba will make an appearance. Goomba? Oh, he's over there. Take two. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you'd like to see how I'm doing this, really pretty peach neutral no no fake lashes uh look then please remember to hit subscribe <laughs> let's not use that one <laughs> Jesus.